What's up everyone, it's Tin from Tutorials Hub and in today's video we're taking a look at SPAR 3D which is basically an AI tool that will turn any single image into a 3D object. Now this is a very new, is by stability.ai, we're going to take a look at the demo. Uh, in order to access this, all you have to do is go to your uh, Google, type in SPAR 3D and here you will have a GitHub access, so simply go to that access and you will land on this page right here which is hosted on GitHub. Now here, uh, let me kind of go first through what this tool really can do. Obviously here you can see the summary video, you're watching this video, so this video will be pretty much enough for you to understand what this is. But as you can see, here is what uh, SPAR 3D can do, a more higher quality 3D objects from a uh, just a simple like image, um, which we're going to take a look at how to do that in uh, this video. So you can see here some of the results as well. And obviously if you want to try this out yourself, you simply go to the demo. So go to the demo, this is how it's going to look like. So as you can see, SPAR 3D is the state of the art method for 3D mesh reconstruction from a single image. So this is exactly what we're taking a look at here. Now, as you can see, we already have a couple of things that we can uh, pick uh, from here, which are examples. Now you can simply go here and upload or drag and drop your own image. Um, and then you can pretty much go here and add, adjust the painting ratio, the guidance scale, um, the seed as well, and then a remeshing here, triangle, quad, uh, texture size as well, you know, however you want it. So uh, let's click here on one of these, um, uh, one of these images and let me kind of explain how this works. So first, when you're uploading an image, what you will be presented with is just an image. So without a background or with a background, sorry, and then what you need to do is you need to remove the background. So that's the first thing you're doing right here, as you can see. Here you can also see how this looks like in the uh, full screen. You can download this as well. So it will basically remove the background. From there, what it will do is you can obviously adjust here the things, some of the things, and then you can run. So for example, if you want, we can adjust the guidance scale, the padding ratio, right? So for example, this is how it's going to look like right here, as you can see. So the more the padding ratio, the, the, the smaller the image will be. The seed, we can adjust the seed as well, however we want. Not sure exactly what this is for, though the guidance scale here, as you can see, you can adjust it as well. Remeshing, so it can be triangle, quad, or none. And then text, uh, texture size, it can be the more, the better, I would say. And then just click run. And once you click run, this is how it's going to go. It will scan it. And then as you can see here, you will be able to see it uh, in a point cloud. Uh, this is uh, PLY. Uh, so this is going to be just the, the, the point size. You can adjust it however you want, right? Obviously, you know, you can adjust that. And then here you will be able to see your 3D model. And as you can see, this is the 3D model. And the best part about it is you can obviously, you know, uh, move it however you want. Obviously here we can see that uh, this part was not really that great, but overall it looks like a great 3D model that we can use in a video game, right? And then you can obviously go here, uh, either download this 3D model or download this for PLY. If you're in 3D modeling world, you will be able to use this in Cinema 4D, for example, or I think even AutoCAD, I'm not sure. But this is how you will be able to download also uh, zip files right here, as you can see. So that's also something really, really great. Now, let's take a look at some other object, more complex object right here. So as you can see, this is a more complex object. Again, we have a background, we have, uh, we remove the background here. And then what we can do is we can adjust the padding ratio, right? So let's say we want a bigger, let's do it like this. Okay, so we want a bigger one and then uh, let's run here and let's see the texture size. Let's make it like, maybe like this, or like this and then hit run and as you can see it will scan it right here in 2.9 seconds we're getting a point cloud and we're also getting getting this one so as you can see how it looks like right here so we can see obviously there 
are some improvements that could be made but this is great for 3d models if you want to use this in video games right if you're programming a video game or if you're a designer for a video game you can do this uh, as well with your uh, 3d objects now uh, the thing is that you know if you want to try this out again you simply go to your demo and then you simply go here and upload an image so you can upload an image like cup I have cup right here although for this I will need to actually you know uh, put it in the PNG it would be the best if it's in PNG so if I can rename this and if I can put here PNG use PNG and then I can use this then I can pretty much go here and run the uh, you know the uh, um, animation part or not animation but removing background part and then based on this I would be able to create a, a 3d model like this but since I've used already some of the credits and this is a demo I wouldn't be able to do it so if you want to try this out there is a paper right here and a code on how you can install this here are all the people that are uh, pretty much you know programmers uh, and the developers so you can check that out as well and more videos are right here on the video side of things uh, if you want to see more AI videos and video tutorials check out our channel for more and uh, yeah we'll see you in the next video thank you guys for watching